It's the player zombie! Ah! Somebody got infected! Oh, they're all infected! <laughs> Help! Today we're going to take a quick look at No More Room in Hell 2 in Early Access, which just dropped, and this will be my first gameplay impressions. As far as what the game actually feels like, think Left 4 Dead mixed with Helldivers 2. More open world with zombies and you have objectives you have to work towards that are marked on your map as a team, and then you get to the extraction for the end game. Though it sounds a lot easier than it actually is, those zombies get tougher throughout the game, and running out of ammo will become a thing. I have seen a lot of people compare it to Hunt Showdown, but with no PvP, but that's probably down to it just being an extraction looter kind of thing. It's more like a Helldivers experience, to be fair, which is not a bad thing in a zombie apocalypse. I, I can totally see it working, but as it is early access, there are quite a few bugs, and especially on day of launch when everybody was lagging like mad because you connected to seven other randoms all around the globe. It wasn't locked to just Europe or US, wherever you might have been located. It put you with Australian or Japanese, and yeah, pings were through the roof, which made it look worse than it actually was due to the lag. Though they have started working on this, and my pings were much better, as you'll see during this match. But there are still a lot of animation bugs and janky looking stuff going on. But that'll do for the intro for now. Here is some gameplay of myself with seven other randoms. And yet again, I, I don't know how I made it out alive. Okay, he's giving us updates on where players are located as well. Come down here and we'll go see if there's a building we can enter. Grab some better loot. Okay, oh, I see some zombies. I'll try and be quiet. Mm, maybe that didn't help being quiet. I'll just take these few out here. Get my stamina back. They kind of walk really slow, so I probably could have ignored those few there and just carried on for a little bit. So while he's on his way to me, you can see if you die, you're, you're, you're perma-dead. So things are a little bit better than the day one experience. Uh, but yeah, you either got to spectate, I think, or, or find another server. It's very dark, though. We'll take this guy out quick. One-on-one -on -one is pretty pretty easy, but you got a group of them on you. Suddenly not so easy. You're in explosions. Oh, God. Pro probably didn't want to do that. This house over here is marked by the bar. Anybody at the bar? Here's somebody running around. Oh yeah, there's dead bodies. Oh my god, there's loads! Gonna use my med kit. Cover me. I'm wounded. I'm nearly dead. Okay, that put us back up full. This is only maintenance and self defense. Okay. Oh, okay. Zombies coming in. Oh, 
Nicely done. Ho ho ho, nice. Well, these guys seem to know what they're doing. This is really loud in here. I'm coming. I don't know what these supplies all do. Is that like XP for collecting these things? Doesn't seem to go in your backpack, but you get the numbers going up with a cogwheel. Some funky collisions here. Got another red eye. Keep this. Let's go, they're slow. That noise is freaky. medkits and things proximity ied you guys okay up here shit i need heal bro over me healing keep a lookout i'm healed down on zombies This is a guy. Oh, come up behind me. Oh, my gosh. Come on, I'm open. We need to understand what we're up against. So we'll get the team analyzing this right away. Take what you need and get moving. Mag's at half. Oh, I didn't pick up any ammo for this. Gate security lock has been bypassed. Responders, head to the plane entrance and get the gate. Reloading! We got some oh, magnum round. There we go. Oh, there's an M4 in here. If you want, guys, maybe we can go to the next mission. Yes, go for it. No final mission, no center is just next mission. Yeah. Yeah, I dropped a load more shotgun rounds in here if anybody wants. I picked up the M4. We have a full team, I think we're strong together. I'm getting some FPS dibs. But there is a lot going on here, so I imagine that's probably something to do with it. Oh, he's got no head! Here we go, it's gone smooth now we're out here, so maybe that hospital's got a bit a bit too many assets about. All the lighting in there, something like that. Oh we got a runner!
<laughs> you slow stepped a bit. This fucking lagging. Just come on, skip zombies. Just run. Yeah, let's keep moving. Need more full power Going up. Be advised, the east gate to the power plant is now open. Responders, move in. Okay, the gate's open. We can go in. Reloading. Reloading. Cover me. Two bullets. Well, this isn't scary at all. Could do with some ammo soon. Oh, Find a new battery in my torch. Okay, let's move out. Got him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's some big bats. Jesus Christ. I, I found a fuse. I don't see. Right, there we go. Now we now we can press the button up there. Eyes here. The main console inside the control center. Coordinate your actions to keep the systems operating with an acceptable bound to accelerate the research process. We need the boot up code. Two two three three one seven. Okay, it's booting up. If you guys want to cover, I'll do the numbers on the computer when it tells you. I'm gonna board up some of these doors as well.
Yo, what the heck? Okay, still booting up. It's taking a while. Okay, I'm on it. Eight six five three seven one. Okay, it's going again. A shotgun smacks. Uh, open valves six four eight two seven nine. Oh shit, you can destroy those. Need more random rounds. I am We, we got this, we're okay. In the hole. No ammo. No one rifle ammo. Okay, I'm out of ammo. Put an IED down. What's he doing? Oh no! Zombies everywhere! Oh god! Switch turbine. Fuck. Uh, 973477. Oh, God. Responders, stand by for further updates. Oh, 
Oh my god! Did we make it? Oh god. Excuse me. Uh, I, I, I think I'm the lone survivor here. This is not good. I don't even know how we did that. So it looks like I leveled up a little bit. Not quite made level two. Uh, select a skill. Increase ammo from pickups. Uh, fall off on rifles is reduced. Survive longer when down. Uh, scavenger, I think I'll go for. Wait, that's level five. Maybe I... Oh, I'm level six. What's that there? Oh, that's my account level. Ah, so I leveled up to level six. Because I got out with all those supplies. Ah. So they have done a hot fix as of the making of this video already, um, which is improving the lag and performance slightly. What I did get in this video, which I'll, I'll try and edit as little as possible. Um, I'll just cut out boring bits uh, for you guys. Um, you'll see the FPS drop and dip here and there, uh, which I guess is just where it's a lot going on, like the massive hordes pushing you and all the players in one place doing stuff. I think a lot of the issues are down to the lag because, um, like I said earlier in the in the video, we're kind of, we're all put public, at random, joining each other all around the world. So I'd get put with Australian players, Japanese players. They'd have like 400 ping and you'd have weird stuff happening due to ping and it'd look like a load of bugs, but we're obviously just got a massive lag difference and their servers were just taking a hammer in. So they've improved that a bit. I only saw like, what was it, around 100 or so F uh, ping, something like that. I know I brought it up a little bit uh, during the gameplay there. So definitely better than when I first tried it on day of release where people had like 400 ping and zombies were getting hit when there was nobody about. Like they were doing the hit animation, but there was no players near me. It was very strange stuff on day one. Uh, as well as all of this, I don't really see it as a second game mode. If they can add private, so you can just play with a bunch of friends, like four player co-op with private friends, it's going to help the game a lot, as well as obviously improvements throughout early access. Because a lot of people don't want to just go in and play play with a load of random. Some people want to play with their friends only or on their own. Um, you know, not everybody wants to, to deal with that. So, um, but that was good though. We had, did have some communication there. I was a little bit worried at the start, but people started to talk and uh, and we got things done. And that was uh, my first successful extraction. I've only had two games though. The first one was just to try the game on release day. And then this one was my first after the first hotfix. I'll be keeping an eye on the game, that's for sure. I'd say it's probably not quite ready yet to pick up, but of course you can make your mind up from that first gameplay. It's running a little rough with me, uh, though I am on max settings uh, on my PC, so I'd expect performance issues if you were going to pick it up yourself. But with all that said, it is early access, so expect uh, all the bugs and issues, crashes and all that stuff, uh, as you do with early access. I just really hope that Torn Banner and the team working on this do finish it up and get all this other cool stuff in an extra map that i think it says here ideas and concept uh obviously in development here is more important uh new weapons yes yes please more things to play with and kill stuff new zombies firefighters similar performance improvements stability improvements bug fixes difficulty improvements balancing uh ux and ui improvements uh new responder team not sure what that is 
but yeah to, to have a private server hosted yourself with a couple of friends or solo would be would be ideal i do quite like the open world design and the way you've got to progress uh, via the open map and then it's random each time as well so you might have to go to a different location the next time to sort out what you need to do to go to the power plant and then extract so it's going to offer some more variety and replayability with that and uh yeah just hopefully they can uh, add a lot more to it if the game does do well once all these bugs are fixed through early access and we get to see a much more expanded uh no no more room in hell universe uh with this game so yeah probably probably i'd recommend waiting off a little bit for a few more updates and then we'll we'll check in again and see what we think before purchase but i mean not, i'm not telling you not to buy it buy it if you want to um, but yeah, it is early access, so do keep that in mind. Um, but it has potential. A lot of games have potential these days, don't they? But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, as it really helps the channel out a lot. And uh, yeah, let you know when I upload again, if you like the content I create. Most of all, though, thank you for watching, and I'll see you peeps next time.